Hi everyone, today we're talking about T2 weighted imaging. T2 weighted imaging is part of what's known as spin-spin interactions. So that's another type of magnetization that we have. As the protons are flipped, there's a magnetization that occurs in the x-axis as they flip and they're paired together. So they will cause that magnetization that allows us to receive signal at the coil. However, like every magnetization is eventually lost or decayed and it goes back to normal. That T2 decay or T2 loss is what I'm showing here. So that's an average T2 weighted curve and the 37% is defined as a T2 interval for a specific tissue. Like everything, we have different tissues and they all have different curves for T2. At this interval, we image and we'll be able to detect differences in that recovery. Some tissues will recover faster than others and that will create the contrast in our image. The main thing to know about T2 is that it is affected by the interaction with the tissue. There's another type of T2 which is known as the T2 star and that's related to differences in the magnetic field. However, the way we do to exclude those effects from our T2 decay is we use a, what's called a 180 refocusing pulse, a 180 RF refocusing pulse. That pulse will take care of that and we'll be able to analyze the difference in transverse magnetization which is known as the T2. Remember, the T1 was the longitudinal magnetization recovery, also known as spin lattice. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll number by the length of the scan because the length is going to be directly proportional to our patient's dose. So we multiply that times the length, and we're going to get.